Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loan it. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Hello, my friends. Vamos a la misión más desagradable de lo que llevamos de juego. A cobrar deudas. Proszę, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, Speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, no. a German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the no. Kaiserreich. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's a very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Ooh. Where is it? Oh, oh no. No, no, no. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it! You have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up! Stop! You nie mam siły. But, but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. It's, it's Warsaw, yes. I have your things. Okay? I have anything in here or out there. Yes. Must have come here with something. Very valuable, good. Not good yet. Better be something somewhere. Moroso. Don't even speak English. No, 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 no. 
Yes, 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 yes. The longer I look, the madder I get. No tiene nada. Should about cover things. Bueno, ahí guarda el donde está, guarda un objeto con mucho valor sentimental, pero vamos a dejarlo. No se anda para el pelo. Help a blind man. Take this. You must decide between your past okay, and yeah, others' girl. future, friend. Decide, for soon it will be too late. All right. Well, I'll have to take your word for it.
Este le dejamos para después. You have any idea of the whole I'm in? Oh, come on! Why has it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lesson in damn murder. Son of a bitch. What do you want? I'm guessing you ain't here to work. You chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh-uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. <laughs> yeah. Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Help! Here!
I got the money, but it's hidden. Untie me, and I'll tell you where it is. There ain't no reason to tie God me like damn it. treasure hunt? You're lucky I ain't taking your teeth as well. Aren't you gonna untie me? You got the map. Do the decent thing. Yeah. Yep. Come on, girl. Yeah. Son unas deudas miserables. Trying to remain optimistic. I'm sorry to hear that. Reverend. Uncle. All right there, Pearson. Pardon. I'm just not great company right now. 
How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Sad sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Y vamos a la última parte. How are you feeling? Much better. Thought those mountains were gonna kill me. Seems I'll live a while yet. Oh, I know. Found a couple of things in town. Made us some money. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. Curse? Won't take long. Ah, you good, girl? You all right, girl? do you want? <coughs> oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. You owe me money. Why'd it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir. I didn't want this either. Mr. Strauss seems so understanding. <laughs> you ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts, I'm I'm not running anywhere. I'm I'm I'm, do, I'm doing my best for you. I wouldn't paying up have been a little easier. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please. How's that dead looking now? <sighs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of <gasps> charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money.
Mr. Morgan. the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. Mal sabor de boca. On esta misión. Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Don't be. You'll be fine. One of us now. Well, don't let me bother you. We'll see you later. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. Good job, Arthur. Vale. Well, I'll take what I can get. Thank you, Arthur. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. How you getting along, Mrs. Abby? I do. I just miss him so much. Of course you do. Goes without saying. I won't be able to make that for you do? without more materials. You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I, I won't lie to you. Oh, it's Robert. I know. Where, where am I gonna go? Stay here with us. You'll be safe here. You're back on your feet properly. Thank you. Of course.
Thank you, Mr. Pearson. One night when I was frisky, and too much poke to whiskey, like waves on the bay of Bisky, I began to tumble and roar. Oh, Arthur! A face oh, spread like a lobster. It's cold. I fell and it's broke licking. my poor knobster. It's cold. The watch it's from cold. my pop <laughs> was picked, sir. Oh, I, 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 I just have to drink, Arthur. I'm not drunk. Oh. I'm just happy. <laughs> you know, you ought to try sometime. Drinking? <sighs> Can't this wait? Well, excuse me. I live on a moderate diet. I'll not drink, but I'll deny it. In a Dear Arthur, I've written this store. letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well... It's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours. Mary Linton. Será una buena visión, misión para quitarnos el mal sabor de boca de esta. <laughs> Richard Gray. We've been loving in the morning, loving in the evening, in the park on the beach. We've been loving on top of city lights in the countryside, on the bus, on the trees. Rainy nights, sunny days, anytime, any place. You and me, nothing else matters as long as I have you from now and hereafter. After this, we've been loving in the morning, loving in the evening, in the park on the beach. We've been loving on top of city lights in the countryside, on the bus, on the trees. Rainy nights, sunny days, anytime, any place. You and me, nothing else matters as long as I have you from now and hereafter. 